Well, Ron Danter and Danny Robertshaw are the ultimate dog whisperers. The couple co-founded their own charity, helping rehabilitate more than 13,000 furry wow. friends directly from their home. Wow. Their animal rescue efforts have landed the pair multiple awards <laughs> and their own Netflix documentary, highlighting their generosity and kindness to man's best friend. Now, Ron and Danny are sharing their heartwarming story of creating a forever home for abused and neglected pups. What beautiful work. Joining us live from their home in South Carolina, Hello to Ron Danter and Danny Robertshaw. Hi, boys. Hey. Uh, Ron, we'll start Hello, with you. In Australia. Hi. <laughs> Ron, uh, you guys care for more than 100 dogs at a time in your home. I mean, how do you go about feeding them and looking after them all? It's a lot of work, but we're very organized. I mean, with, you know, we have these big wooden trays for each room in the house, and it has every dog's name on the bowl, the weight, the type of food they eat. And then we have another huge tray with little pill cups in it that each room it marks which dogs get that cup of pills. So it's it's a lot of work and uh, you know, we have now 32 staff members. So um, it's a lot to keep up with, a lot to keep in the house clean every day, doing 29 commercial washers and dryers of you know, cleaning wow. the bedding every day, so. Oh my goodness. All right, so that's busy every day. What about the nights, Danny? What about sleeping? How, how does it all work? <laughs> Just dogs everywhere? Um, how do you spell that word? <laughs> uh, we, um, we do sleep intermittently. Uh, it's very true though, sometimes we have as many as 17 dogs on the bed. And uh, they, some of them really claim the spots over our heads some right in the neck fold, and <laughs> everywhere else you can imagine, they're there. Uh, so turning over is a little bit difficult, and if you go to the bathroom, heaven forbid that you find your spot again. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, what was the most beautiful or rewarding rescue that you've made? Um, I would have to say, I mean, we have so many, but we got a little dog named Milton that was brought in through animal control and his front legs and back legs were completely mad together. And um, it had already, his mats had gone through his tendons and through the bones. And when he came in, our vet said he had very little blood pressure, so they really didn't know if he would survive. And so they asked us if we wanted them to carry on and try to save him, uh, which through probably about four or five days of ICU care, little Milton made it. So we nursed him back to health and he got his forever home. <laughs> oh, that is a, that's a beautiful story. Ron, when you were approached for the Netflix documentary, it took a while for you to sort of come around to the concept, right? Were there, were there lots of dogs that got adopted from it? The results must have been incredible. Yeah, life in the doghouse was game changing for our rescue. Um, you know, it, it was in Netflix, it was had over 3 million views and it was seen in 58 countries. And so it also was on two airlines. And so that really put us into a different dimension. I mean, we were struggling every day for money and everything. And it really created a larger donor base for us because we don't have an adoption fee. We survived strictly on donations. And so luckily life in the doghouse really changed the dynamics of our rescue. Oh, it's such beautiful work that you do. Danny, you've now written a book about your work. You've done the de Netflix documentary and now a book. So why a book? Well, the book, as you can see, is Forever Home. Um, after the documentary, we had questions from people all over the world, really. And they wanted to know more about who we were, who, who we really were. And uh, of course, we had to do a little soul searching to figure that out ourselves. <laughs> um, but it, uh, but it, it delves a lot more into uh, our childhood, each of our childhoods, and uh, and why we were, are so passionate about saving animals to this day. Then how we met 40 years ago, and uh, how we ended up merging and uh, and feeling the same 
passion that we both do. Well, it's such beautiful work that you both do. Congratulations, 13,000 rescues and counting. Uh, so beautiful talking to you both this morning. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thank, thank you very much. Sending love to all our Aussie friends. Yeah, yeah. incredible stuff. Thank yeah. you, guys.